Alrighty guys, this is the next thing I'm going to try. Um, these are beets. They're supposed to be a little bit sweeter. Um, I have never tried beets, the, these type beets. So we're going to go ahead and add them in where my sugar snap peas are. Alright, they tell you it's frost friendly. Um, ideal temp is between 50 and 85 and then you get plant, the seed depth half inch, plant four to six inches apart. It's so windy out here, guys. I've got to put a piece of wood under all my seed packets so they don't fly away. All right, and I got my little jackknife here so this don't fly away. Um, let's take a quick update real quick on my sugar snap peas. Only about half my sugar snap peas have come up. And you can see some of them are doing really good. Let me get me out of the shade. Oh. There you go. So I replanted them today, the other half. We'll see what happens. Don't know, but there we go. Now, here's my famous ruler that I always use. Yes. Ugh, the sun's not working with me today. Okay. That mark there to there, there's six inches. All right. It said between four to six inches. So I'm going to plant it on each seed, just on the other side of that mark. So like five inches is where I'm going to do. Yeah. There's my mark. I'm going to drop this down right here. Put a seed there. I'm going to do on the other side of this mark. About an inch over, mark there, do the same thing, let's put a mark there. So about every five inches we're putting a seed in the ground. So here's the seeds, they're tiny, we dropped them down each one of them in the hole I just made. I know I think my shade is covering up what I'm doing but I've got to roll with it guys. Alright there we are. I'm going to take my little poker and just make sure that seed has gone to the bottom of the hole. It has. Here we go. And I'm going to lightly cover them up. And then I'm going to mark that and go with this one right here. See if I can't get out of the sunlight for you. Just about an inch on the right side of that, those marks. Here we go. All right. I'm going to continue going here, and uh, we're going to do the whole row all the way down here, and then. We're going to plant my green beans also. All right, the next thing I'm planting is my jade beans. Now, <clears throat> I'm ready to put these in the ground, get the stuff going. Um, what they do say on the back is, tells you no frost, but these things ain't coming up for at least 14 days, and I know we're past our frost date. Or I know we're, I don't think we're going to get any more frost at all. Um, idle temp, 70 to, uh, eight, 70 to 80 and then a half inch to one inch deep. Spacing is six inches apart, eight to 12 hours of sunlight. All right, so you know me. Yep, I got my trusty little screw here, but also I got my trusty board. <laughs> and it is marked every six inches. You see my board every six inches. So once again, we're just going to go ahead and stick this little screw in here. We're going down about a half inch to an inch. I know what that is, guys. I, and sometimes I do use a, uh, a marker that has a mark on it, but I don't have it with me today. So I'm going to drop one of these seeds right on down the hole, get it pretty close. Do the same thing with this one pretty close. 
let's bring that on down in there here we go there we go cover them up real quick here we go let's move on to another spot right down here over here mark that spot let's set some more in here now talk about my soils here yeah all right let me poke this in the ground where my next spot needs to be which is right there okay now all these gardens i've said this a bunch already that i have been working on many of these soils since last last summer last fall they've been getting leaves grass uh chicken waste goat waste uh meat bird waste um, my compost pile everything i've been putting in here all during the year the, the, you know, from like last fall summer and uh this year um i got another uh, i had another load of um horse manure as you see here that's been sitting for six months to a year same thing i did my last time around um that is in here as you can see garlic is doing fantastic and you should smell it i love being out here smelling the garlic onions are rocking it they're doing fantastic i'll do a little video on all that stuff but the big thing is is all these gardens for the past six months i've been getting mended with something um grass leaves i'm just mentioning all that everything so this soil is basically ready to roll and that's what we're going to do now during the season we will be adding some fertilizer as things goes and uh, that's it now as you can see even though i've mended this i've added soil in it keeps sagging sinking down it's going down these are hoogar culture beds in other words say the first two-thirds is all oak trees from the woods stuff packed in there now everything is settling in everything's moving down some wood is breaking down and uh, next year or probably later this summer i'll probably get in some more compost where i got from that uh, from the city that black stuff that they char down and i'll be filling these beds back up and tilling in again and continuing on and i've got another oh you can't see it. it's back over there that's my dirt pile back over there i'll do another video here coming up talking about what i've got over there nobody knows about all right let me keep on getting all these seeds in here and then I'm going to be planting something new over here. I don't even know if I can say the word, but we're going to try it because it looks good. So I'll bring it along when we go do that. As you can see, i got one row. I did two rows. So I've got two rows of those jade beans right here. All right, I'm going to water this down really quick. Get this completed here. And then we're going to move over to that section right there. Let me get this in, get her wet. I pre-wet all these soils before I plant. I haven't watered these. This part of the gardens here has not been watered at all this year. So they're bone dry. All right, I think we're good. Let's go move over here now. Let me show you what we've got. Let me bring my trusty ruler. <laughs> All right, I don't know. Let's see what we got here. This may not work. My ruler's too long. Oh, rats. Oh, maybe. Hold on here. I think it's every six inches, I believe. We stick it right there. We might be able to make it work. All right, let's look at what we've got. I have never grown these. I went to the Oaks Oaky Expo, and he was passing out some things, and I grabbed this. I have seen this before. White. Vin, vin, vinya? I don't know. Heirloom seeds. Okay. I'm going to give this a shot. Now, um, it says germination is 7 to 14 days, soil temp between 60 and 75, full sunlight, planting depth a quarter an inch. Um, it says to... I tell you, the priest started in the house, in the garage. Well, I didn't do that because I just got these. So, we're going to put them in the ground and see what happens. 
um, but they say plant six to eight inches apart and it said the seedlings can handle light frost we're gonna go ahead and plant these things all right look at these tiny tiny seeds oh get out of there my little screw get out of there look how small these babies are okay and I do know the key to a lot of this is why I went to this ruler grow, growing um, the key is space. You do not want to overplant because you're taking, basically your, two, your plants you're planting with are going to fight for nutrients that's in that soil. And you need that soil, you need those plants to be able to grow outward, expand for a healthy plant. So the goal is that we're going to go ahead and um, plant, use my ruler. Now I do know that this is every six inches. I do know if you see, I've got my knuckle right there right here would be eight inches and I'm gonna be planting the eight inch rule all the way across, we'll check it. I'm gonna tip this sideways a little bit. These things are very, very tiny seeds. So we can, it says a quarter an inch in the soil. Very hard to see these seeds, I can tell you that. And that's why they probably want you to start them in a little tray. So, if we're here, I'm not gonna go right up against this. Maybe I will. I'll go right here. Eight inches is right about right there. We're going to plant that one, drop that little seed that I can barely see, which is right there. All right. I know you can't see it, but it's right there. We're a quarter inch in the ground. There we go. Let's move over to the next one. So if we're here, we're going to put our next seed somewhere right around this area right here and i like keeping my rows nice and straight yeah it's just the tony thing you see my brother comment every once in a while he is so true he knows me i love my brother all right there we go that one's in all right guys i know it's hard for you to see the seeds exactly where they're at in fact i need to with my little marker Mark where I'm going to put my next one right there. Let me continue setting the seeds in here. We're going to get as many as I can right through here without overgrowing. And um, there we go, guys. All right. I've got two rows right here. And I've got a half a third row right there, ones I can reach. So there we go. Now we're just going to go ahead and water this in really good. All right. There we go. We'll water these in, guys. Look how windy it is. It's bad. get them in here really good they're only a quarter inch down so you don't want to splatter a whole lot of water on it there we go let me rewater these areas right here I like this new watering deal I got at Lowe's I mean it's nice I can pull the trigger it's right here this piece rolls and it works good. You control the amount of water going through real easy. If you don't want to make a big splash, it works really good when I'm watering my onions. I just go right through the center. Onions don't get all wet. Look at that. There we go. So all my seeds are in that I'm going to put in now. Everything else that's going to go on the ground is what's already in my greenhouse thing set up. And that will be where I do my um, uh, peppers again. And I've got uh, um, broccoli and Brussels sprouts will be over here. We're getting done, guys. Potato gardens right there. Looking good. Looking good. All right, we're going to roll. Hey, guys, I appreciate you watching my channel, subscribing, and sharing it out with everybody. And uh, you all have a great day. Look at these trees. Look how windy it is. Yeah. Oh. Oh, hi, hon. <laughs> oh, dogs are running around, having a good time out here. All right, guys, we're going to go. Y'all have a great day.